Welcome back to my Road to Completion Guide for Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is episode 3. Follow me to the circuit panel and open the cage. All we have to do is rotate specific panels by pressing X. I'll place the solution on screen. We need to escape Sherry's room in one minute to pop a trophy. The first step is to find the block inside the stuffed doll. Place the block in the puzzle, then move the first piece to the third position. Then press X to rotate each block until it matches the solution on screen. Cut the tape with the scissors to escape the room. If you don't get the trophy, load the previous save and try again. Read Sally's diary in the hallway. Read Tom's diary on the table downstairs. That must be the door out of here. Grab the ink ribbon in the next room and read the anonymous diary by the typewriter. Oh no, it's him. Save your progress and make sure your time is less than one hour and 15 minutes. Reach for the key to trigger the chase sequence. Run upstairs and hide to avoid being caught. You are gonna be so fucking sorry! Go away! Bitch, that's a dead end! Wait here to trigger the cutscene. When it's over, grab the key and backtrack through the orphanage. Son of a bitch. 
second chance. Show yourself! Now! Claire. Expect to pop the hide and seek trophy after getting the parking garage key card. Just you wait, asshole. Now we can make our way back to the parking garage. Use the parking garage key card to open the gate, which will also pop a trophy called Never Ending Rain. You again? This will also trigger a chase sequence with Mr. X. We can easily avoid him using the cop car while we wait for the gate to open. We'll have to make our way to the alley by the gun shop, so the best play is to get close enough to the enemies to have them force the gate open. We can then run around the area to draw the enemies away from the fence. Looks like the only way forward. Kill the zombie and the aggressive dogs. This dog can be skipped by running to the right of the van and into the basketball court. Two dogs will eventually attack the fence, but one will eventually jump over. 
use this opportunity to exit the court and follow my path to the bus for safety. Grab the hand grenade and use the grenade launcher to kill the enemy. Don't worry about the dogs because they can't enter the bus. We can skip the last dog as well. That's gotta be the orphanage. Uh. Hang on, Sherry. Follow the path through the orphanage. As long as we keep running, Mr. X won't be able to catch us. Read the G report, grab the ink ribbons and the high powered rounds before making your way through the sewers. Stop off and grab the blue herb on the left. There's also white high grade gunpowder just before reaching the tunnel. Climb the ladder and kill the enemies with flame rounds. Here? Sherry, I'll be right there. Grab the ink ribbons and place the following items in storage. Blue herb, white gunpowder, and two ink ribbons. Save your progress and make sure your time is less than one hour and 25 minutes. Follow me to get the tea bar and a red herb.
Open the safe on the other side of the platform to get the reinforced frame, then combine that with the pistol. The solution is 2 left, 12 right, 8 left. Grab the blue herb and combine it with the red one, then run downstairs and kill all three enemies. If you run out of handgun ammo, switch to flame rounds. Open the gate and grab the hand grenade, then use the T-bar to open the next gate up ahead. As long as we run and stay to the left, the enemy won't bother us. Grab the high powered rounds and quickly kill the enemy in the next room with the grenade launcher. Now let's quickly grab the rook chest piece before other enemies trap us in this room. Grab the handgun ammo on the way back to the lift. If the enemy we skipped earlier is blocking our path, simply shoot it once and run past it. This process was explained back in episode zero. Our goal is to run back to the typewriter room, but on the way we need to get the green herb and mix it with the blue one. Exchange the rook with the knight and move the knight chess piece to the far right. Get all the ink ribbons from the item box and place the rest of our handgun ammo in storage. You may be out of handgun ammo which is perfectly fine. As long as you have four open inventory slots, you'll be able to complete the next sequence. Save your progress and make sure your time is less than one hour and 30 minutes.
Take a left and use the T-bar to open the gate. Switch to the hand grenade and shoot the first enemy with regular handgun ammo or high powered rounds. If we time this correctly, the enemy won't bother us as we slip by. We can counter the second enemy with the hand grenade. Stick to the left side of the path to avoid the third enemy dropping in from the sewer pipe. The goal for this section of the game is to get the spark shot and leave with the king and queen chess pieces. There are four enemies between here and the ladder. We only have seven shots with our new gun and we need four shots to help us kill the next boss. Carefully kill no more than three enemies by hitting the eyeball on their left shoulder. You'll need to hold down the button to fully charge the shot. Most of the time, at least one of the enemies can be skipped, but we can always fall back on our hand grenade if needed.
To open the path to the boss, start by placing the queen in the middle terminal on the right. Now remove the bishop and add the king. Place the bishop in the terminal by the door to solve the puzzle. Make sure your pistol is set to high powered rounds, save your progress, and check your time. It should be less than 1 hour and 37 minutes. Pick up and combine all the herbs on the way to the boss fight. Restore power using the following combination. Run past the exit near the barrel to trigger phase one, which consists of dodging his claw. But we can stand behind the hose on the ground for safety. Use this time to switch to the spark shot. When he starts banging on the door, move Claire to the right into the corner and wait for him to bust into the room. When he does, switch positions and shoot the eye on his back with the spark shot. Always maintain a medium distance to bait out his ground slam attack. This will give us several opportunities to shoot the eye on his shoulder. If you're too close, you'll get hit. Too far away and he'll do the shoulder charge, so be careful. After hitting all four spark shots, run to the platform and switch to the pistol. Immediately run to the switch and move the crate. The goal is to stun him with four high powered rounds to the shoulder. If you get hit, just use the healing mixture in your inventory. Once he's stunned, push the switch to move the crane. This will force him off the edge and pop a trophy called Gotcha. If he stands up, just use a flash grenade to stun him again. There's a flash grenade by the switch along with a combat knife and more handgun ammo. So sorry, Sherry. This is taking forever. <sighs> and that said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. How oh, good. The 
Cable car. Okay. Better check everything. There's no turning back. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Travel to the Nest facility to pop a trophy called a great need for shower. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. Put Sherry to bed and you'll automatically pick up the ID wristband. Get rid of the combat knife if you need to free up inventory space. Check the reception desk for an ink ribbon. Place the following items in storage. Herb mixtures, spark shot, GM 79, T bar, and high powered rounds. Save your progress and make sure your time is less than one hour and 45 minutes. My name is Exonovit, and I'll see you in episode four. Be good.